Hey guys, it's Liz, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your fidget spinner spin for longer. I don't know if this works for everybody, but it works for me. So also, yeah, sorry for this super late upload. I've been busy with school, and I had like this extra science teacher. So yeah, first thing you have to do is take the bearings off. You can pop them off with your fingers, and if they won't. If they don't, you can take a pair of scissors. These are just like old little pairs of scissors. You don't have to have big ones. Also, I'm just using this little fidget spinner. Not the one I'm going to use in this video. You should just pry off. And the other back piece, you will either fall off or do the same thing. I'm just going to do the same thing because I'm just not really falling off. Okay. So yeah, it doesn't really spin right here. This one actually spins good. I thought I bought it for a dollar. A dollar journal spins for like one that you could get for ten bucks at like Good Eats or something. So first off, you have to, so I took the bearings off of mine, off of my fidget spinner. It's a little bit wet because I I dropped it in the water, but yeah. So that's usually because they're rusted. Mine's pretty rusted. You can see so i just have hot water and i don't want to drop the ipad on i just have hot water in there not hot it doesn't have to be boiling hot it has to be warm so i got some warm water in there and then some soap foaming soap regular soap creamy soap creamy soap means like it's not clear i just have clear soap i just put it in there and then mix it up and then um, just mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it, and the same thing, if it doesn't want to come off, you can just pry off the bearings, they should just pop off, but mine have a hard time doing that, here are the bearings, they just came out, you don't have to take off the ones that are, like, right here, if you have one, so yeah, and then just place it in there, around, gonna add some more hot water in there so i'm also going to drop the bearings in there because those are a little rusted too yeah come back and check on them in around a couple minutes and also when the bearings come off oh one else but uh, yeah i bought this at dollar general so if you have a dollar general near you you should have a dollar once so they should just pop back on. Like this. It's either because the rest of it or you have the bearings on too tight. So either that. Things were pretty good. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a couple minutes. Water's not very, very warm anymore. Okay, I'm just going to let that water come out. And then you have a fidget spinner in the bearings. It doesn't really look like I'm rusted. Let it in there for like a couple minutes. But you can leave it in there for more if you want to unrust more. Leave it for longer. So this one was completely rusted when I got it. I'm bearings, not all the way because then it won't spin good because they'll be too close. So, yeah, I'm just gonna put one in there, put this one on. Let me tighten it, tighten. That's how long it's been for pretty good because this is how much it's been for before. 
that's how much it's been right now since for this time. And this is just a little spin. So yeah, now I'm going to take the bearings off. It's clean, don't worry. So yeah, I'm just going to untighten the bearings a little bit. Oh, there's something right here. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you. So yeah, bye guys.